<sighs> hey, kiddo. What's got you so down? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, now, you can tell me. Well, I'm just sad thinking about how Peter Parker and Mary Jane aren't together anymore, and she's not even in the comics anymore. It's just, it's, it's dumb. It's nothing. Well, I've got some good news for you. Oh, yeah? Yes, Mary Jane is coming back to comics. She is? That's right. She's going to be in the new Iron Man series. Iron Man? That's right. Iron Man. So not Spider-Man? Nope. So they're still not together even after Secret Wars? That's right. Isn't that great, Sport? Okay. Uh, could you, um... Can you back that camera up a little bit? Uh, yeah, you okay. might want to keep moving back just a little bit. Uh, Alright, but why? Oh, it's because I'm about to flip this table right now. <laughs> It's me, Aaron Professor Thorgy, and I know by now this is probably old news that came out a week ago, and I wasn't planning on making a video about this because I thought, alright, that's not that's not quite big enough for me to talk about. I'm just gonna let it slide. But literally everywhere I've gone, people have asked me about this. I've been asked about it on YouTube, I've been asked about it on Tumblr, I've been asked about it on Twitter, I've been asked about it from people in my store. Everyone wants to know what I think about Mary Jane now being in the new Iron Man series. And... Yeah. Now before I go into detail about, let's just address the elephant in the room, which is that... One more day. And Marvel erasing the Spider-Man and Mary Jane marriage, I know it was five years ago, but for all of us Spider-Man fans, that is a pain that will never go away. That is a wound that will never fully heal. Every time that we see Spidey and Mary Jane with someone else, it's going to come up in our mind. We are never going to not be able to think about that. So yeah, when I look at this, that was immediately the first thing that went in my mind. Because when this Secret Wars reboot was happening, we all saw that Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, and we all saw that Miles Morales was coming in here, so it's like, okay, you got the kid Miles in there, so Pete can be an adult again. He can move on. He can get married again. And seeing that that isn't happening, yeah, that's the immediate first reaction that all of us Spider-Man fans have. It is just simply, God damn it, again, Marvel, you got me again. And when you get down to it, that's what it really is. It is just simply, you got me again. Because Marvel has teased us with that so many times. It has thrown out there this idea that, hey man, they might get back together again. So many times that I just can't take having my emotions play with that many times. I can't. It's just so exhausting. I'm just tired of it. I am, I'm not even angry anymore. I'm just tired. You guys have come into my heart and played with my emotions too many times. This is something way too personal. And it's so weird for me to now think that it's been five years mean that there is an entire generation of readers out there who never even experienced Spider-Man and Mary Jane together. So to you, you have no idea what I'm talking about right here, but take it from me. That hurt. It was the biggest F you I've ever seen a comic book company give someone in my entire life. And any time that they once again kind of tease with that like, oh, no, they're not getting back together, we go through it again. So, yeah, when I saw this, my very first initial reaction was, again, again, it keeps happening. It's like, I'm Charlie Brown and this is my football. That's what this is. But okay, let's actually talk about it. Let's talk about the fact that Mary Jane Watson is now going to be in the new Invincible Iron Man series. And the very first reaction that everyone had was, oh, they're going to be in a relationship. They're going to be in a relationship. Tony and Mary Jane are hooking up. Let's figure out the couple names that. Tony Jane. That's it. It's happening. Tony Jane is canon, everyone. But, slow your roll. First thing we have to actually address is the fact that Bendis has come out and said, I'm not saying what the relationship is. I am not saying why she is there because I want people to read it to find out. And that would be kind of reassuring, except... It's business, and I'll get to that in a second, but I'll say for now, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, somewhere in the back of my head, no matter how far I try to go to tell myself it ain't happening, there is a part in the back of my head that keeps telling me, 
Spidey and Mary Jane are going to get back together again. And when it comes to couples in comics, the one thing that I always hate is whenever the other person, the non-superpowered person, is there just to hook up with him. Is there to just be the couple. Is there just to be the girlfriend, just to be the boyfriend, just to be the extension of our protagonist. I like for the couples to actually have their own lives and to actually go off and do their own things. So there is a part in the back of my mind that's like, you know what? One day, she is going to get back together with Peter Parker, and when she does, boy, what a story she'll have for him. Hey, remember that time I went and worked for Tony Stark? Yeah, I got my own life outside of you. And that's kind of cool to me. That is actually kind of cool to me to think that Mary Jane will be able to say, yeah, I had an adventure that didn't involve you. I had an adventure all on my own. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Now, what do I actually think the relationship is going to be? I don't know. And the reason why I don't know is because it is being written by Brian Michael Bendis. And Brian Michael Bendis' greatest strength is also his greatest weakness. Because Bendis comes up with huge ideas. Giant, huge, crazy ideas. He is able to look at a series when he gets on a book and go, I know what to do to make this completely different. I know what to do to get people talking. He would make an amazing editor. Like, if you handed him another writer and he just went, this is what you're going to do in your book, that other writer could take that and turn it into something great. Bendis, on the other hand, comes up with these amazing ideas and then doesn't do jack with it. Doesn't do jack with it, or he just makes it so disappointing. Let's go down a quick rundown of some of the major changes that he has done to characters ever since he started working at Marvel. The first one is when he started working on the Avengers. Oh man, did he have big ideas. His big idea when he started working on the Avengers was that the Scarlet Witch was going to go insane and she was going to kill the entire team. Oh, holy cow, that's huge. Why would she do that? Well, it's because she remembered that she used to have kids. And because of that, she killed the whole team? Yes. Or maybe not. I don't know. Some other writer will eventually explain. Okay. Well, what happened to the team after that? Well, they became a street-level team of heroes, and they all operated off Iron Fist Apartment. Oh, and Doctor Strange is no longer the Sorcerer Supreme. Oh, wow, that's really big. Um, well, who is the new Sorcerer Supreme? It's going to be Brother Voodoo. Oh, wow, that's a huge change. Uh, well, what are you going to do with Brother Voodoo? Oh, I don't know. I'll have some other writer take him over. And if that book doesn't work out, I'll kill him. Uh, okay, well, what about Secret Invasion? What did you do with Secret Invasion? Oh, man. With Secret Invasion, I had it revealed that the scrolls have been in hiding among humans this whole time, and tons of our favorite comic book characters have been replaced by scrolls. Oh, man. That's an amazing idea. Well, who did you replace with scrolls? I replaced Hank Pym. That was it. All that lead up for just Hank Pym? I, okay, whatever. Well, what about Age of Ultron? What did you do with Age of Ultron? Oh man, Age of Ultron, at the end of that, I broke all of time and space. Holy cow, that's huge! What does that mean? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Sounds cool, though. I'm sure someone else will do something cool with it. Uh-huh. And what about with all new X-Men? What did you do when you took over the X-Men? Oh man, I did so much stuff with them. I brought the old X-Men from the past here to the present, and they were stuck, and they could never go home. And Cyclops, his powers were all messed up, and he can't figure out why, and he's starting to go crazy, and he's starting to turn over to the dark side. Oh, well, why can't the old X-Men go back in time? And why is Cyclops' powers messed up? And why is he going crazy? Oh, well, I have one more issue of X-Men coming up before I leave. You'll just have to read that to find out. Based on your track record, what makes me trust you? Seriously, this is a guy who does nothing but come up with huge ideas. Huge, character-changing ideas. And then does nothing with them. I've seen it happen too many times. Just think about his X-Men run. Think about all the questions he has raised during his X-Men run. And think about the fact that he has one issue left in his X-Men run. To answer all of them. He knew his X-Men run was coming to an end. He did. He knew far in advance that his run was going to come to an end after Secret Wars. So what did he do with his final story arc with his X-Men teams? Eh, you know, hey, you remember Utopia? Yeah, there's some people living out there.
yeah, you know, we're gonna go and talk to him. That was it. That was his final story arc. So yeah, when I look at the fact that he is now doing Iron Man, and that he is already making a big change, that Mary Jane Watson is going to be one of the supporting cast members of this, all I can think is, he's going to have something really cool for her to do in the beginning, and then none of it will matter. Because he will not even... I don't want to say he won't stick the landing, because he just won't land. He's going to flip up on the bars and then just kind of hover there for the rest of his run. That is what he has always done. The only time I've seen him not do that on a Marvel book was in his Ultimate Spider-Man book, and even then, by the end of it, he was kind of doing it. And with his Daredevil run, but that was back when he had something to prove. That was back when editors were like, you better make this good. Now, can you imagine any editor working with Brian Michael Bendis? Most editors I picture working with Bendis is just like, hey, could you come back here and look at my nut? You're out the door. Okay. So yeah, honestly, with this whole thing of Mary Jane Watson and Iron Man, if it was any other writer, I would look at it and go, Oh, what are they going to do with this? But it's not any other writer. It is the guy who has become known for never wrapping up a storyline. So, yeah, I honestly don't think much is going to come from it, except for in the first five issues. In the first five issues, it will be huge. He will do something incredible. I pray to God it's not Mary Jane being pregnant with Tony's son or something like that. Oh, God, why did I put that out there into the ether? Okay, but I think that for the most part, it's not going to be anything. It's not going to last, so whatever. That is really a terrible attitude for me to have on a channel where I talk a lot about comic books and trying to get people into them. So, forget everything I said on this episode. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Iron Man and Mary Jane now sharing a book together? Do you think something good will come from it? What do you think Brian Michael Bendis has in store for them? Let me know that in the comments down below. Also, if you like this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. I make fun, geeky videos about movies, comic books, video games, anything from the world of geekery every single week. And if you want to see more from me all around the web, then you can follow me on Twitter and tell me the address is right there. It's at Professor Thorgy. And if you want to see me talking more about these upcoming Marvel books, I did a ton of episodes about them. So just click right here. It'll take you right to the playlist that where I talk about all of them. Right there. There's a lot of them. It's huge. This will fill up your whole day. Are you bored today? Click on this video right here and leave comments and likes and subscribes and all that. Uh, it is late, guys. I got nothing left to say. Bye, everyone.